There are 29 million golfers in the US alone. That's a lot of people, 92% of that number being men. To even get close to being a scratch golfer, you need to be part of the 1% club. And even if you think you have a chance of turning pro, the chances of you making it on a mini tour shrink even further to a measly 0.000034%. But if your dream is to follow in the footsteps of your childhood idol and play on the PGA Tour, that impossible number plummets even further to 0.000005%. And frankly, you can watch your dreams drift off into the abyss. Now luckily for men, you can still make a decent living playing on the smaller tours without ever stepping foot on the PGA Tour. But that just isn't the case for women. If you're not competing week in, week out on the biggest tour in the game, your bank balance will be eaten up and you'll have no option but to find another way. The story starts in 1981. Robert O'Neill and Londa Cunningham gave birth to their little girl, Blair. The family started their time in Macomb, Illinois, until eventually moving to Tempe, Arizona. Being blessed with excellent climate and living in a state that is golf mad, it was only a matter of time before Blair was introduced to the game of golf. That introduction came at age 11. Quite late in today's age, Blair's dad enrolled her and her brother into a local junior clinic and from there the bug was started. Every early morning and every late afternoon therefore would have spent on the range at Dobson Ranch Golf Club in Mesa, Arizona. By the age of 13, just two years after picking a golf club up for the first time, Blair began her junior journey playing on the AJGA Tour. Her success as a junior golfer would earn her selections for the US Junior Ryder Cup team and the AJGA Canning Cup teams. As a teenager, Blair's golfing prowess became evident while attending Corona del Sol High School. She won the school's MVP award from 1995 to 1998 and would become the women's Arizona state champion, establishing herself as one of the best junior golfers in the state of Arizona and catching the eye of colleges all across the United States. Despite countless collegiate offer letters, Blair made her childhood dream a reality and accepted a full ride scholarship to Arizona State University. She competed all four years on the women's Sun Devil golf team, having never missed a match or being sat out of a single tournament. And whilst doing so was crowned a two-time NCAA Women's Long Drive champion. Her dedication and attitude to the game led her to multiple top 10 finishes and all Pac-10 conference honors on three occasions. She did all of this at the same time as studying a degree in communications, something that would definitely help her later on in her career. Upon graduating from ASU and having such an impressive junior career, the future looked bright for Blair. She proceeded to turn pro and traveled east to play a trade on the ladies pro golf tour of Asia. She quickly earned her stripes, helping her to qualify for the Futures Tour. The LPGA Futures Tour was the highest level O'Neill reached as a professional golfer. She never managed to qualify for a spot on the LPGA Tour. After struggling to sustain herself financially for two years and enduring a broken foot, she opted to focus on her modeling career. She racked up quite the modeling resume through fashion shows, television hosting, print ads, catalogs, magazine covers, web sites and commercial advertisements. Being this busy though, Blair didn't hit a ball for three years. So never seeing herself making a career in golf again, Blair wasn't too bothered and was fully focused on building a career away from the course. Upon building that career though, people wanted to see more of Blair. The Golf Channel's big break contacted Blair to see if she would like to compete on the latest series at the Prince Edward Island. Having not played for three years, confidence was low, but this opportunity was too big to pass up. She had no time to prepare for the show, but amazingly still managed to finish runner-up. This experience reignited her passion for the game and she attempted to make a comeback as a professional. Blair began grinding away for the upcoming season, but months later was approached yet again by the Golf Channel to appear on the big break for another time. This time for a reunion season in the Dominican Republic. Blair's game was in peak performance this time around as she battled through the season all the way to the end once again, but this time being crowned the eventual winner. With that huge win and now equipped with sufficient financial resources, Blair decided to focus on a professional career and give it one last push. In 2011, Blair failed to earn her LPGA Tour card but gained full-time status on the Future Tour for a second time. After three straight seasons between 2011 and 2014, Blair finally decided to call it time on her golf career and focus more on television. Although Blair is an extremely talented golfer, it just shows you the difference in levels you need to be at between the men's game and the women's game. Although it may seem O'Neill never reached the heights many had expected, given her record as a junior, Blair continues her mission as a dedicated athlete. With huge sponsors with Puma and Cobra, Blair can now focus all of her time on being a huge face for the Golf Channel 
and starting a family. It's clear that Blair's dream was always to play on the LPJ tour, but sometimes accepting you're not always in control of those dreams can land us in the most amazing positions and grant us the finest opportunities. There will be no regret from Blair as she's gave it everything, and given it everything has landed her a dream job. With over half a million followers on social media and a huge TV presence, Blair O'Neill is going to be seen on our televisions for many years to come. Thank you.